Coming up on this episode of Press This, we take a look at the WordPress framework for the beginner in all of us. And for the developers out there, Twitter's bootstrap for WordPress. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, it's always a pleasure to mm -hmm. see you. We are the show where we take awesome WordPress stuff, kick it around like you were doing under the table. <laughs> yep. uh, themes, plugins, and other fun WordPress stuff. Put it together, regurgitate it back to you. Hopefully you can find it of use. We want to hit 1,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. We wanted 500. We've surpa surpassed that, thanks to you. Uh, so we want to hit a thousand. If you know somebody who should be watching this show, please send it to them. If you are just watching today, where have you been? Please hit subscribe. Uh, we want to hit a thousand. And uh, if you have been watching us, you'll know that we have been kind of discussing WordPress frameworks, mm -hmm. um, basically themes that are have a little bit more to them, a little bit more meat that can interact with other things called child themes, which allow you to sort of take concepts and design templates that people have made and make your website look nice nice without as much of that 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 legwork with regards to coding exactly um, we talked about genesis we talked about headway last time and now we're kicking off another discussion uh, we're going to talk about a couple today um specifically suffusion by aquoid themes and bootstrap wp yeah so suffusion came to us uh from one of our faithful listeners watchers uh to doug montgomery, doug montgomery. thanks doug thanks Doug. Uh, thanks for bringing that up. I actually had never heard of Suffusion in all my WordPress travels, uh, but 4.8 out of 5 stars and almost, almost a million no, downloads. Tons. I think it was like 970 or 980, 980,000 yeah. downloads or something like that. Uh, so pretty amazing um, that I actually had never yeah. come across it. Um, so thanks for bringing that up, Doug. Um, but specifically what we're talking about today, I think that makes it a little bit different from last time is last time we talked, we were talking about frameworks that are of the more traditional variety where, you know, you're looking at like a $70 thing. And they, they give you that support. And now we're actually looking at two, these two in question are actually free uh, theme frameworks. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit different story. Yeah, so you got a chance to play with Suffusion. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking through it through at the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. it looks like a newbie's dream, Yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. there is a ton of stuff that you yeah. can that you can modify uh, within this framework, in this theme. Um, you know, what did you think about it? Yeah, so so Suffusion is more more liking, likened to the headway themes we talked about last week than the Genesis we talked about last week. Uh, that's where Bootstrap's going to come in. But um, Suffusion is great because it works right within um, the back end of WordPress.org. You, you, you boot it up and you go. And it, and it kind of tabulates everything. You know, you have your skin, so you have what the actual coloration is going to look like, what your header is going to look like, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They have a section for templating. Um, they, they have a section for layout. They have just a section for everything, and it's really great. Great, really well put together. It looks a bit bland, mm -hmm. um, which will definitely done by a developer. Yeah, <laughs> um, but they ha but they do a, they do do a good job of actually kind of displaying and getting you to see where you have to go to put all your content in a big nice save reset button kind of off by itself uh, at all times, so you don't forget to hit save after you've you've made a bunch of changes to your website. A um, couple quick little issues with it. I mean, obviously it's it is built into the back end, so you do have to kind of like jump back and forth, you know, refreshing your page and, and kind of tweaking out your testing as to what this color looks like versus this color, what this image looks like versus this image. But overall a really, really great layout. Um, the what the websites themselves look pretty nice if you're looking to make a blog or you know or a small business and you're you're trying to get started with a website. Not not a bad way to start at all. Yeah. Um, I think that you hit the nail on the head by saying you it's something you really want to start off with if you're just starting off with WordPress in general. Mm -hmm. um, I do like this. I do like this product, uh, this theme. Uh, you know, it seems like he's uh, or they have done a really good job, obviously, with almost a million downloads. It's been around for a while. Now it's time for me to vent. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's there's so many options in this that when we get the question, like we got the question uh, from Doug and others, what f framework should I be using? It's such a loaded question. Right. It's like, what should my website look like? Mm -hmm. Well, where do we begin? Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, I, I think if, if, it, if, you, if you're looking at it and saying, Suffusion's great because it doesn't cost me any money. Mm -hmm. Well, if it, 
if it doesn't cost you any money, it's certainly going to cost you some time to right. set this up. Every right. single one, no matter what you pick, there's going to be right. some time involved, some mm-hmm. cost, right, for, for the time. Uh, but this looks like it has so many, you, you can edit so much stuff, mm-hmm. change so many features, yeah. um, and it's all through the back end. It's well put together. There's just a lot. There's just a lot. So you might find yourself spending days, mm-hmm. days editing this stuff where you just seriously have to sit down and say, what am I launching? Mm-hmm. What is it? What should it look like? How much time do I have to get this? And what's the real business, right? right? Do you want to spend days and weeks making this site look right. the, your exact way? If you're tinkering around and you want to do that, go for it. Yeah. But if you're like, I need to get an e-commerce site up and running tomorrow <laughs> because I need to get... Uh, I need to get selling products and, right. and start bringing in some new income, mm-hmm. then I would probably stay away from these more, I don't know, uh, you know, these real in-depth frameworks because it's right. going to take you some time to launch right. this, right. especially if you're just starting out. Right. Take that hundred bucks right. and buy one of the other frameworks or themes or something right. like that. They'll, still, they'll, take, they'll take some time. It's to, still going to take you time. There's no doubt about it. It's still mm-hmm. going to take you time, but what's going to mm-hmm. take you the less amount of time if that's what you're concerned right. with. If it's, hey, this is a hobby project and I just want right. to tinker and learn this stuff, right. phew, this is thing. This thing is awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is like, this is like the kit car dream. Yeah. Like you order an entire cart, uh, yep. car, and it comes in a box. Yeah. And now you have to put it together. Yep. You know, and that's what a framework is for. It's so you can, it's so you don't have to get under the hood of WordPress code and and the real direct code right. through an mm-hmm. editor or right. FTP or something like right. that. Um, it certainly can, but something like this is going to let you do it all in the browser. Right. And if you certainly want to get into a little bit of the design, uh, we have the other side of this, the other theme framework we're talking about this week or spending the most time on, which is Bootstrap WP. And you're, you have a little bit more experience working yeah. with this than myself. Yeah. But. So if, if the, uh, if, if Suffusion was the kit car, this is the Formula One right. racer of that mm-hmm. kit car. This is, uh, so Twitter makes a framework for web developers. Uh, this is not anything to do with WordPress. Right. People are building applications with it, yeah. m- responsive websites, all kinds of things. Um, but Rachel Baker has converted this to a um, WordPress theme. Mm-hmm. And you can only get her version of it, bootstrap wp.rachelbaker.me. Um, and she hosts it over on GitHub. And you can only access it there. It's not in the .org right. repository because everybody is that's working on this project is doing it through GitHub. Have I lost you yet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's not in the repo. But the good thing is, is it, it's in GitHub. It's got 600 subscribers in, in GitHub. Yep. You can see the stats. That's the great thing about GitHub is you can see how many people are working on this. Mm-hmm. What bugs are open? Right. When was the last time they committed code? Why do I care about this, Matt? Because if you're running a business, you want to know who's supporting it. Yep. You want to know when it was last updated. WordPress uh, for the last couple of weeks has been under a major botnet attack, right? right? right. You want to know where's the security, you know? And I think if, you, if you're if you starting a small business website for the first time or just starting out on the first time, you don't want to go to kind of jump into obsolescence already. You don't right. want to buy the thing that's, that's already point. five years old. Yep. You just want to get in and use the, and use the thing that is supported that is in the now. Yeah. So. But this is uh, very lightweight. This is, again, based off Twitter's bootstrap. So if you're like, hey, I want bleeding edge, Twitter puts out a fantastic product. There are hundreds, thousands of apps built around the world based off of this stuff. But you're going to have to kind of know what you're doing. Right. If you're like, I'm a guy or gal who needs point and click, this is not the framework for you. If you're the starting uh, freelancer, developer, or if you want to get into learning this stuff, this is a great solution. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's free. Right. And it's on GitHub and being, um, you know, contributed by people all over the world. Yeah. Uh, there's a theme that's based off of it in the repo called responsive. It's actually one of the top free themes. Do you know how many? Is that high? Okay, 588,000 588, downloads, 4.8 out of 5 stars. Um, so about half the traction of Suffusion, but hasn't been around as long as Suffusion. Right. Um, but still a great solution. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, what's the summary of, of, <laughs> of this episode, right? Besides, hey, those of you who are still sticking around yeah. and haven't tuned out yet. <laughs> Uh, Suffusion is great for the beginner. Yep. It's free. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has a ton of options. Right. And I think this was a great, a great way, a great time to look at um, the support end of it, of saying you're not going to get that support. You're not going to get maybe some of the extensions and some of the, there aren't as many people using 
um, these, although there's still a ton of them, uh, and developing child themes or other things for these softwares yet, um, or, 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 or to the same degree as a Genesis, or even a Headway, but mainly a Genesis. So it, it is, there are free options um, to get started with. If you, know, you decide you do want to jump into something, I guess if you take something from this, it's that, well, maybe it is better to just throw some money in right from the get-go instead of kind of running into these issues. Well, now I have to spend this, and now I have to go and download this, and now I have to spend this money. Right. Time and time again, this is the, this is the, the, the biggest problem, is everyone who's starting out is starting out. Mm -hmm. They are bootstrapping their yeah, business, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. They have a full-time job, they want to launch something else. Or they've got this hobby thing, and they just want to start you know, a blog to, to do all this stuff. They're not thinking long-term. Right. And those are the most clients that come to us, mm -hmm. that after they've been running their business for a year, they're starting to get some income. They're starting to build an audience. But they started with something terrible, yeah. right? And there's no way to just say, oh, can you just kind of build on top of what I already have? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't. Right. Um, so we're, we're urging you to, to make uh, the best decision possible right. when you're starting out. Because in a year, mm -hmm. in two years, when there are security issues, when there are new features coming out, if you were on something that was obsolete from the start or something that wasn't well supported, mm -hmm. those are where the issues come Right. In. Mm -hmm. so so fusion use it intro level i think that's yeah. that's how no, i'm no, that's how i'm branding it and i think bootstrap is the uh, so far of the four we've talked about clearly haven't gone through all of them yet but of the four is still the most developer oriented um mm -hmm. even beyond genesis probably the most developer oriented one out mm -hmm. there framework out there but mm -hmm. a great choice in that direction yeah. and a great choice to build upon in the future without as many hiccups yeah yeah so uh keep watching the show for all the up, upcoming theme frameworks that we're going to be looking at. Mm -hmm. We will continue our coverage <laughs> of uh, WordPress theme frameworks and we hope uh, that you join in on the conversation. Go ahead and just hit subscribe. Number one, we want to hit a thousand. Number two, leave a comment. What do you want to see next? What theme framework are you using that you want a little bit more help on? Uh, we d open up another playlist slash channel uh, for some WordPress 101 videos, how to install WordPress, how to operate WordPress. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can use that for yourself if you're just starting out or if you consulting with clients mm -hmm. share that with them yeah, it's that's great. totally white label it's not branded by us so yep. you could share the video with them embed it on your site whatever um, and uh, they could take it and run with it okay. let us know guys thanks a lot thanks a lot guys